Smile and learn. That's it. Perfect. They'll be ready in no time. Hey there, I'm making some more popsicles to sell. They taste so good. I'm sure they'll sell really fast. These are ready. See? They've become solid because I put them in the freezer. Have you ever heard of the word solidification? It's one of the changes in states of matter. There are more changes, don't worry. I'll explain all about them. You already know that matter exists in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. A change in state happens when we heat or cool matter. If we heat solid matter, it becomes a liquid. We call this process fusion. If we heat liquid matter, it becomes a gas. We call this process vaporization. These two processes can occur the other way around. This happens when we cool matter instead of applying heat. If we cool a gas, it becomes a liquid. This process is called condensation. If we freeze liquid matter, it will become a solid. This process is called solidification. Oh no, the popsicles have melted. I completely forgot about them. Do you remember how we call the change from solid to liquid? Fusion. When a solid becomes a liquid, it's called fusion. When the temperature of a solid rises, the particles that make up matter start detaching from one another and move more freely. See? Liquid turns into gas when heated. Do you remember how we call this process? When a liquid becomes gas, it's called vaporization. When a liquid is heated, the bonds among the particles that make up matter become more loose, so particles move around freely. What if I cover this pot? What do you think might happen? Water vapor cools as it reaches the lid, and its state changes from gaseous to liquid. Do you remember how we call this process? I've just told you, haven't I? The change from gaseous to liquid is called condensation. As a gas cools, the particles that make up matter start coming closer to one another and move around more slowly. This will continue to happen till matter solidifies completely. I think the popsicles I froze up earlier are just about ready. That's right, I put some popsicle molds in the freezer a while ago. The liquid in the molds must have frozen up by now. The change from liquid to solid is called... Come on, you know this! I told you before! It's called solidification! During the solidification process, the particles that make up matter lay very close to one another and move less and less. These are the changes in the states of matter. Let's recap. If we heat solid matter, it becomes a liquid. We call this process fusion. If we heat liquid matter, it becomes a gas. We call this process vaporization. These two processes can occur the other way around. That happens when we cool matter instead of applying heat. If we cool a gas, it becomes a liquid. This process is called condensation. If we freeze liquid matter, it will become a solid. This process is called solidification. Now you know all about the changes in states of matter. I hope you find what you've learned useful in class. I have to go. Look at all those people lining up for popsicles. See you around. Did you like the video? We have so many more. Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes. This inquiry helps you prepare the Observe Matter activity. This hands-on activity requires 15 minutes of prep time, takes 30 minutes to complete, and works best when students are placed in small groups. The purpose of this activity is for students to investigate differences in types of matter and how well they can change shape. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. It can exist in three main states, solid, liquid, or gas. All matter is made up of very small particles that are arranged in different ways. 
solids have a definite shape. They do not change shape when moved to a different container. Liquids do not have a definite shape. They can change shape to fit their container. Gases do not have a definite shape either. They can also change their shape to fill their container. As you prepare for this activity, complete this checklist before class starts. First, gather the materials. Each group needs a syringe, a sponge, a number cube, modeling clay, a large beaker, a graduated cylinder, and water. For this activity, the sponges must be pliable. Dampening sponges with water and wringing out excess water makes the sponges bendable. The sponges should always return to their original shape. To help ensure a smooth activity, include this topic in your pre-activity discussion with your class. Students visit three different stations during this activity. At station one, students use a syringe to investigate the properties of air. Model how to operate the syringe. The Inquiry Rewind student video demonstrates this. Consider showing that portion of the video to your class. At station two, students investigate solids. For this station, model any steps in which your students have difficulty. At station three, students investigate liquids. For this station, model any steps in which your students have difficulty. Students should follow the procedure for this activity. Remind students to accurately record their observations after each test. Empty water into the sink. Dry wet containers. Store containers and the remainder of the materials for future activities. Students should observe that air and water easily take the shape of their containers. Solids, like clay, can be molded into different shapes but it retains the last shape in which it was placed. Some solids are rigid and do not change their shape. Still, other solids are pliable and can be twisted, squeezed, and rolled, but can return to their original shape. When students finish, bring them together to discuss their findings. If some students are unable to view the expected observations, show the Inquiry Rewind student video before starting the discussion. Then, use the questions in the Teacher's Edition.